somebody wanted to do an investigation into Christianity, where would you start? If the resurrection of Jesus didn't happen, it's a house of cards. You sure you want to give me that loaded gun? I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to pull the trigger. You have a lot of uh, atheists who become Christians, but you don't have a lot of Christians who become atheists. Yeah. You There's know, a few they, who've kind of renounced their faith, but I still pray for them. Uh, you look at Chuck Templeton, yep, who was the yep. public partner of Billy Graham, who wrote a book called uh, Farewell to God, Reasons Why I Reject the Christian Faith. And yet, on his deathbed, he became convinced that angels were coming for him, that he was going to spend eternity with God. I think something happened even to bring back that prodigal son to God. So, you know, we continue to pray for people, even though they seem to have a hard heart. She never gave up on me. Um, and, and it would have been easy to give up on me. Now, what would have happened if he didn't come on the same page? I, I mean, I don't even want to go there, but I would have, I would have stayed with him unless he decided to move on. Okay. Um, I just believed, and I, I had such hope in the verse that was given to me, which was that Ezekiel 36:26 verse that says, moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you, and I will take your stony heart of sin and give you a heart of love. When I heard that verse, I said, that's Lee. He's got a stony heart. He's, he's, he's just needing to, to be saved. And so I felt great conviction to pray that prayer, and I just think that was God laying on my heart to pray so that he would finally wisen up. <laughs> so, you didn't get the sense that he was doing it for you. Oh goodness no. He you know, he was doing everything to go against it. He was very, very adamant about just not wanting anything to do with Christianity. So the fact that he even came to church with me uh, with his reporter's notebook <laughs> to look for, I was find uh, for a look scandal. for dirt. Um, I was even happy with that. And I think that was just the beginning because God kind of oh, cracked a little bit of his heart there, I believe. And that's where it started. There was the red carpet that we did in Chicago not long ago called Denial, based on a book of, uh, of David Irving who denied the Holocaust. And her, her goal was to go prove the Holocaust happened. And it was interesting, yeah. you know, so obviously it was a very different subject, but it made me think of, of that. It was like, how could you even say this This doesn't yeah. exist? Same thing with religion, God, right. you know, 90 something percent of the world believes in it, but. Yeah, there's some who deny that Jesus ever existed, right. which right. I think is an absurd position. But the interesting thing about Christianity is that it is an investigatable faith. It invites investigation. Um, it, it, there's historical claims made by Christianity. Jesus lived, he died, and was reliably encountered afterwards. Those can be investigated. And, and, and it lent the, those issues lent themselves to my background in journalism and law to pursue evidence to try to determine whether it was true. So when you, if you try to do that for Hinduism, it doesn't work because you get lost in the mists of time in terms of the origin of faith and so forth. Um, but Christianity says, look, if the resurrection didn't actually happen, then you're warranted to walk away. I mean, it, it all hinges on this. And, and so check it out, investigate it. In fact, I like the way um, 1 Corinthians 15 says, you know, 500 people saw Jesus at the same time. By the way, they're still around. You can talk to them, you can interview them, you can check them out, almost to say, almost to taunt people and say, there is evidence here uh, in that day, and there's evidence for us. Did you ever feel, you know, from going from one side of the coin to the other that you were selling out? No, I, I felt like I was committed to pursuing truth. And, and, and when I found the evidence, I found what I believe to be true. Having been trained in journalism and law, as you know, you respond to truth. And I felt I had no choice at that point, that the, the truth was so compelling and so clear that I, I needed to bend my knee to Jesus. And you got to keep the girl. I did, in the end, I, a bonus. And now we've been married 44 years. No one's ever proven if the shroud is the actual burial cloth of the Christ. But whenever someone looks in those eyes for the first time, suddenly becomes a real person.